That was the start of the, <laughs> it's the start of the live stream boop. That, oh, okay. We're not very sure. good at it no, though. We need okay. to practice. Well, hey to everybody. Hi. Welcome to Replayed again this week, where my lovely wife, Miss Gwendolyn, is gonna be joining us. Um, not just joining us, you're kind of starring today, aren't you? I know. Well, we're playing a game that I starred in the music club, although <gasps> you also starred in it. I co-starred. Not very much, though. The The real star of the musical can't join us because he's in England. <laughs> uh, but the stipendium actually voiced Mr. Voice in our musical. And I'm actually really sad that we don't have him here to uh, participate in our live stream today. Maybe okay. one day. He's busy doing something cool. He's been teasing us all on Twitter. Oh, he's something always doing cool. something cool. That's nothing new for him. Um, yeah, welcome. Hopefully our audio and video are good. We have another person here actually joining us today, but he's a disembodied voice. Oh, that's me. I'm Nate. Are you Mr. Voice today? I am. Because you're disembodied? Uh, sure. I'll be Mr. Discount Voice. Mr. Discount Voice? You have to do a British accent, though. Oh, no. Give us a, uh, I'm Mr. Discount Voice, but with a British accent. I'm Mr. Discount Voice. Oh, it's like Jason, like Jason Statham <laughs> over there. Jason, Jason Statham. Is that somebody. Jason Statham on there? I'm going to jump out this window. Uh, so also joining us in the chat are our moderators today. Is that true, Nate? That is true. Okay. Neff and Joe and Malctonio are here answering your questions as well and keeping the chat under control. So please pay attention to what they have to say. Speaking of questions, if you've got them, go ahead and type in all caps, question, and whatever your question is. Um, our moderators will answer some of them. Nate will answer some of them. But some of them he might pick and send over to Gwen and I while we're trying to play this game um, to see if we can answer them too on camera. Um, no guarantees, though. It's We're obviously focused on the game today. Um, before we get started with the game, we do have a couple sponsors we're supposed to read off. We do have a couple sponsors from our Patreon. Oh, here they are. are. They're magically here, right here. All right, so I'm going to pull them out. You read them in the Misfortune voice if you can. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, we got three sponsors today from our uh, Patreon page for Replay. Oh, thank you, Squeebers. <gasps> Squeebers goes into the burr, 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 warp pipe. Here's another one for you. Oh, thank you, Lava Pants. Lava Pants? Oh, you say that so cute. Wow, it's like <laughs> Misfortune needs to read everything first. All right, here's the last one. And thank you, Shadowbender. I, I just went little stitch. <laughs> you just turned into <laughs> stitch. <laughs> um, little Stitch Fortune. Uh, Gosh darn it, now I can't do anything but Well, that's hang okay. On, hang on, hang on. Uh, but Shadowbender197, I'll say your name later probably. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Those are our uh, sponsors today from Replay. If you'd like to join them, the link is in the uh, description below. So you can jump on Patreon and support us there. Um, you support not just Replay, but also Random Encounters musicals, which we are in the middle of working on more of those. And we've even shared a couple updates. We've got another one I think we should share really soon for Patreon. Ooh. I'm going to put these down. Gwen, can you pick up that controller? Ta-da! Look, and can I you start Little Misfortune oh, for us here on today's episode? All right. Well, let's just let's go to the extras first, obviously. What? Okay. What? We'll hit new game. We're so extra like that. <laughs> Got to go to the extras first. Now, this has voice acting, so... It does. Not sure we need to do the voices for them, except in between cuts. Let anyway. us know if it's not loud enough. I can boost the volume of it. Oh. Sketchy, man. Do you remember the first time you played this? Yeah, I did not know what I was up against. I'm like, what yeah. is happening? I had a real like Wallace and Gromit kind of vibe though from Benjamin here. Definitely. I was like, I don't know what to think of this guy. He seems so nice, but. I totally thought he was gonna be the main character. Like I knew Miss Fortune <laughs> was like the title character. Yeah. But I totally thought we were just gonna be following him around and like mm -hmm. doing funny business. Yeah. His music, they're like, oh no, I'm thinking of her music. I'm gonna say she has like the Dance Forever song or something like that. I don't remember what his song is here. All right. Our volume is so down low, even if you can hear it. I, I can't hear it, but that's okay. Oh, I can hear that. All right, our mods say the audio is in. Oh, the stupendium is in our chat. He's hey, here. Hey, he's I'm going to pretend he's voicing this. He's here. <laughs> Lovely. All right. Yeah, and here we go, the crossing go. the Let's threshold. Go. I was going to say, where's the orange side? He's going to pop out someplace else he <laughs> didn't mean to. Be like, this is not what I had in mind. Oh, boy. Oh. Here we go. This is Greg's part. Say the thing. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Tension. Too. Come on. It's there. Come on. No, no, no. First, we have to do the slow pan down. We have to, like, really dramatically zoom into this house with really weird artwork already. Oh, Thank you, Benjamin, for trying to warn us to very early. game. That's him. I'll be your host and humble narrator. Oh, I love that voice. The rules of this game are simple. They are. Play it until the end, and you'll be rewarded. So, does this sign say, be aware, or does it say, beware? Which of them is it supposed to say? I assume it's supposed to say, beware? Like, be, beware? Is that, <laughs> beware? Maybe? Well, 
Oh, there she is. She's so cute. <laughs> she really is. I'm actually impressed with how much we managed to replicate her room. Fortune. Like, not exactly. Yeah. Obviously, we had a square child. rug, she has a circle rug, she had a wooden floor. Oh, this, a wooden floor this set we're on right now is built in her bedroom. This it's is true. Is <laughs> we actually built it right here. Right there. And a little the window is right for there. You. And a little bit for me. <laughs> oh. Oh. The sad part is <gasps> no. today is the day she will die. No. Oh, she's so unfazed. Uh. I can hear you, you know. Oh, I love that she's like not can. troubled. I forgot mm -hmm. how slow she speaks. Are you inside like my head or something? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. About life. She is. Well, she's like chill. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> like he's like, I'll, I'll go with you, <laughs> Mr. Voice. What did you say about me dying today? <gasps> Die? Yeah. What did you no. say about that? She asked. Nobody tough said questions. anything about anyone <laughs> I'm getting right dying down to today. The tough questions. Uh, nobody said nothing. <laughs> you know. I have prepared to play this game for you. You should totally play this game. Really? Oh, for dude, it? Don't, it's not if fun. You can it's reach awesome. The end of the game. <laughs> I'll give lying. you eternal happiness. <gasps> Deal? Who could say eternal no? Eternal happiness? I guess mm. I could give that to. Oh, she's mommy. gaming the system. Okay. She's like, <laughs> and if I give it to my mommy, then I can have a good life. Wonderful. That was not okay. Fantastic. Yeah, I feel like that's your first signal that this Ready is not a play? good game to play. Yes. Right? Your first mission is to leave the house. I like that okay. she gets missions. I'm gonna do it. Yeah. Yeah. Like, who's gonna say no when you're She right? doesn't get aspirations? No. She's no. like, here's your first <laughs> mission. And she's like, I'm on it. So Sign me up. But, like, literally, your your options are just to go back and forth. Uh, before we leave the house, because we, we don't, like, Mr. Boyce, we're gonna stop on our pedal for it. Okay, sure. You guys are gonna help us make decisions today, by the way. We're gonna rely on you guys to steer this is my secret hiding spot. the direction of oh, this. You just told like a bazillion people on the internet. Hiding Shh. Spot. Don't tell I your don't like it when like mommy that. and daddy argue too much. Aww. And when I come here, I can dream and travel far away. Oh, this is like all of us in COVID <laughs> right now. <laughs> We're all dreaming of would you going like far to away. Teleport with me later? Yes, I would actually. That's a lot of fun. The guardian oh, of the secret Bubsy? Bubsy? No, he's been banned. Uh, no, he's right we're not. There. We're not he's having right him on, on replay <laughs> anymore. Actually, go wrong. I can't you. We go wrong. Yeah, he's banned. He's not allowed back on the the, the channel. We're done with this him. This is my diary. Nobody is allowed to read it. Want to see? She's I love, really bad at keeping it. I words. love that. Nobody's allowed to read it. You want to see uh, it? I feel like most people have probably seen this before, but I sure. will flash through the photos. Oh, oh my her class is idea is really good. That is really good. You know what? Yeah. You could make that. You could go to conventions as Miss Fortune, as Benjamin, and I could go as Benjamin. <laughs> oh, I'm so down. This sounds great. I uh, love my coloring book. I'm gonna choose book. a coloring book, which I think we have the option to take. We, yeah, we do. do. So here's your first important decision. Okay. You have consequences to all of your choices. Uh, are we going to take my coloring book, or are we going to leave it here for my Bubsy to color it instead? All right, guys. Are we taking the coloring book, or are we leaving it? Uh, I don't know. Leaving it for Bubsy? First of all, one of his eyes isn't looking so good, so I don't even know if he can stay within the lines. <laughs> Might be Rude. a little. Uh, hey, it's just a thing, like depth perception, you know. It's <laughs> flat. All right, looks like everyone's saying take it. Take uh, it. Okay, let's. Oh, we better take that color. Oh, over. I forgot we have to hold the button. E. So that we're sure. Make sure. Take it with me if I get bored, okay? Okay. Uh, hopefully, you don't get bored. If you're getting bored during our uh, live stream, I'll feel bad about myself. <laughs> Okay. Uh, I don't this think there's. Diary. Oh no, I already. I already Nobody saw no, I don't want to see your diary. Sorry, I'm sorry. Quit no. To show your diary. No, don't show me. All right, let's get out of the. I'm shielding my eyes. Alrighty, I like this loading screen. It's like. That's fantastic. It really is. Okay. Uh, if I remember correctly, we can do something with the glitter. <laughs> my glitter. Oh, you're supposed to take a toy too, I think. I think I am. Hot my glitter. Look at all that glitter. We've got our own glitter back here. Ours is not nearly as good. Shut and I don't up. think we're gonna throw it because we don't want to have to clean no. it. No. <laughs> that would be a we're huge We're still, mess. we threw it in the backyard for like the ending shots. And for like weeks later, there's we were still, still finding like sequins and glitter yeah. and stuff. It was pretty There's great. still stuff out Shut there. Oh, play some music and we can dance. I like to move my body. <laughs> mm hmm It's mm -hmm. the music that goes on forever. 
Well, this is how she dances. <laughs> yeah, she does. <laughs> of all the things, I don't think she does that well. Dancing is well. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Uh, okay. I don't think we get to choose the toy until Oh, we try do you have to, to leave, actually leave? Though, okay, we'll try to leave first. Although we have an eye there. What Dance to this music. Oh, paper dolls. Hey. This is Kimberly hey. and this is Steven. They're, They're very on good. They're trip fighting super evil. Wow! This is like this Paper is Mario. <laughs> oh, I see. Well, that's very cool, Miss Fortune. We're oh, oh, impressed with you. Oh, and the closet. Let me dance into my closet here. No? I showed it the finger and it never came Don't back. Don't show it the finger! Which finger? This, this it's one? not okay! Don't show this people one? the finger, Miss Fortune! It's not okay! Before you leave, oh, which toy do you choose to rent? We did that backwards Can't in the musical. Them both? No. Sure. You I just can realized we did it backwards. One mm. And remember, your choice. Well, the people in the chat have already been telling you which thing. toy to take. It's right. really, it's more important I'm than sure. they think it is. So. so, so which one do they want me to take? I've seen overwhelmingly Stony. So. Stony? Oh, okay. You mean just like in our musical? People just like Stony Can more than the unicorn. The stone huh? that you threw at me once. Oh no! Interesting choice. That yeah, is an interesting. I call him choice. Stony because he's a stone. Get it? <laughs> uh, uh, I get it. Yeah. Put it in your pocket. That's, that's very clever. clever. Thank you. Ah, you're mm. so grumpy. You're pretty grumpy. Ah, Stoney's back here. So you know, I like to sprinkle sparkle on things so they become fabulous. She has, she has the best attitude. Oh, happiness to everything. We need we need this in our life. We all need to sprinkle <laughs> sparkle on things. On the other side of the screen. Hey, he's talking to you. Remember, I told you uh, she yeah. was going to die today. I do remember that. that One time when she, he said that. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna tell the story. <laughs> I saw him. The pointy fox ear sneaking by that window. I saw him. A little less pronounced than in our musical where he was like super there from the beginning. Oh, you can run. I can? I think so. Oh, he's gonna teach you how to run. This is grandma. She oh. wears a diaper too. <laughs> oh, I don't think she wants you to tell her on YouTube that. <laughs> That was so last year. <laughs> that was definitely last year. That was so last year. I am super Mommy done with diapers. Mommy likes to collect glasses. I broke a couple ones by running too fast. Oh, I did forgot. Mommy find oh, out no. who did it? We're gonna break no, something. But I had a yeah, piece no. of glass in my foot for like five days. Oh no. That's not okay. That's uh, you go to the doctor for that kind of thing. Oh, oh, you ran. He tricked me. Yeah, you ran. That was great. Oh, please don't fall. Please don't fall. Please don't fall. Oh, it totally like she stands up, just watches the rest now. of them. That was a beautiful example of it was cause beautiful. and effect. A beautiful example of cause don't and worry. effect. You can trust me. I don't okay, think you can. Thank you. Don't trust him. He's he's nasty. Hmm. Maybe I could try to fix it. You, you can try to fix it. Uh, uh let's let the audience decide. Should we try to fix it, or should we just leave it as it is? Hmm. We do have a busy day of oh, stuff yeah. to sprinkle sparkle on. Chat, are we fixing the vase or leaving it as it is? You know, but if mommy finds out, she'd be very disappointed. She mommy could throw a rock at us. That's a daddy thing to do. She's outside the car. <laughs> so, hey, I think Gaston might live All here. All right, looks like fix it is the win. Fixing it. All right. Da, 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 da. You can do I'm it. I'm gonna do it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Oh, I didn't do this with a controller. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, the puzzle's about the same. Look at that. Look oh, hey. at that. Thank you. Great Thank job. You. Great you. job. You are doing a great job. Eh, not quite doesn't good. look right. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. All right, everyone mm. in the chat, join me in telling AJ not to make fun of my uh, controller skills. Uh, okay. Or I'll remind him he couldn't play Sims. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> don't you bring that back up in this. I don't want to hear any more about the Sims. I don't think she fix the, fixes the back side of it. I'm just I noticing. I don't think she does. Although, wait, what's this piece? Well, there's two that fit here in the front. Oh, you're right. <laughs> she legitimately never fixes the She's back. She's like, Bob never looks at the back. It's fine. Like, Look there's at totally that. a gap in the back. She thinks nobody's going to notice. Yep. Be like, oh, but the flowers I are pretty. I did it. Okay. That's exactly how it's meant to look. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, now you can head out before uh, anybody that, notices. That's me. Mommy told me I have to smile, even when I'm sad. Oh. 
I mean, I'm not always. Sometimes it, it helps. My friend was a hunter and killed this moose. <gasps> His daughter, Erica, You sure it wasn't Mr. Voice? She, I thought I his gun really was familiar. a toy. Yeah. She said bang bang to her mommy and daddy. I then her forgot parents about died. this story. And I feel like every time sad. I think about this game, I forget. <laughs> how dark it is? How sad everybody <laughs> yeah, is. Yeah, it's a little... It's kind of intense, actually. Um... Yeah, okay, so we've made a couple choices. We're about to encounter another choice, I think. So y'all sit tight for just a second. Ugh, it smells like cigarettes in here. Cigarettes are not yeah, good. Yeah, that's my mommy. Oh, mommy? She also likes to Why are you spraying cigarette perfume on yourself? Well, are you ready to complete your first mission? <laughs> yes, oh, yes, I am. I'm gonna get that prize. I wish Miss Fortune had like a barrel roll move or something so she could like dive behind things and stuff. Mm. Mommy, this smells really bad. What is it? Dead animals. That's what it is. Yeah. Yikes forever. Yeah. I don't... Even people that eat... Yeah, even people that eat dead animals, I think, don't tend to just drop the entire animal in a thing. There we go. Everybody's like, happy. I made the bunny the happy. Bits really of animals. <laughs> like, this soup is not Enos approved. Also, I'm gonna you make wouldn't... mom happy. She now gets a she's little a cave. Oh, she's a box. Oh, very cool. But uh, okay. Was this always said October 11th? I don't know. I don't remember. That's my mother's birthday. <gasps> Is oh. it? Is that yes. your mother right That's there? Today. Huh? It's today. Okay, today mm. is apparently my mother's birthday. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't remember if it's always said that. I have to assume it would not make sense to change it. <gasps> uh oh. Here's that choice we were saying. Do right. I tell my mother on her birthday that I'm leaving the house or no? <laughs> it's up to you guys. Can kind of go either way. I'm not sure what kind of repercussions, but your choice matters more than you think it does, is what I've been told. Mm. Yeah. So, I could see some value in both. If you tell her, she might not want you to go out. I would you... never leave the house without telling my mother. Yeah, if you don't tell her, you could get in massive trouble later, so... Eh, looks like. What's the chat? Tell her. Tell her? Yeah. Okay. I'm going out to play, mommy. I'm going out to play, mommy. And, like, she doesn't really give her time to respond. She's just like, Yeah. <laughs> and then she wanders off. She doesn't move that fast. I would think that mommy <laughs> could turn around and be like, uh, no, you're not. Morning. It's afternoon. Good day, morning, Miss Fortune. Ah, uh, okay. Good afternoon, morning. She's so, oh. so perfect. <laughs> Just never change. Oh. Never. Yeah. We all could use a little bit more of misfortune in our lives, I think. Not the, like, uh. <laughs> not misfortune, but the character oh, no. misfortune. This is where I saw a really cute fox. Huh? I a really him cute fox? Benjamin. Aww. I've seen him around the house, right outside my window. Like a creeper. I think he's really cute. Oh, well, cute Please, creepers. Miss Fortune, you should be careful around wild animals. That's true. You shouldn't trust a fox. They're all criminals. Whoa! What? Didn't a you watch criminal? Zootopia? <laughs> That's silly. That's silly. I feel like it's such a like little kid thing to do to have your first crush be an animal. It is. That's true. Be like, this animal, I love it. <laughs> oh! Oh, I see you guys in the car. Yeah. Very cute. With a juice box. There's the penelope on that tree stump. Mm. Oh. Why, oh. Why is there a heart over the cat, though? You're supposed to pet it, although we're out in the street. I was questioning if you can go without petting the cat. Oh, yeah. There we go. Hello, kitty. Here. Come. Come, kitty. Kitty, kitty. This is what I do with the penelope, and she looks at me exactly like that. <laughs> kitty, don't go. Oh, this cat. It hates us. Like most black Damn cats. It. I never get to pet the sweet animals. Oh, there's some crows. You can go pet the sweet animals. So, before we continue, oh. you need to know I the rules the first mission, of the Mr. game. Voice. <laughs> uh, you it was to leave the, the house, wasn't it? Remember, you will be given choices. Oh, maybe it was. Okay, choices. Okay, choices. There is no right or wrong, only consequences. Okay, okay. Only concept. I beg to differ. There are some choices she makes that are very wrong choices. <laughs> you let us know when we make them. Happiness is yours. Oh. I'm ready. I like how you say when you beat the game. Like, the there's no chance she's not road. going to beat the game. All right. I can do that. Yeah. Look to the left. 
Look to the All right, can I just say how tense no. this moment made me the first okay, time I played? <laughs> like, the design of this road and everything is so perfect. It's really hard not to, like, feel really uncomfortable. Also, that, that I happens. think something bad just it's happened to us. What monster? I didn't see anything. I, I, saw there. I, saw I think he it's is probably just your imagination. Yeah, I think that's be. true. I have a very big one. I just keep going. One. We'll have so much fun. Oh, I don't think so. Yeah, that that always makes me squeamish watching her like step into the road and being like, I can't even see what's coming from one side of the road. A sleepy bird. Come on, Miss I love Fortune. that. Because there's Let's literally a point now. in the game, like later, I was so tense, I had to walk away from my computer because I couldn't <laughs> make the next choice. I was like, something terrible is going to happen. Oh no. And I can't do this. And like literally, I think I walked away for like 40 minutes and talked to him for a while and then went back and Someone dubbed that strength to keep going. Hey, yeah. you're going to uh, shut down the sleepy bird? Shut down. There. It's much less sleepy now. Which is, of course, Yay. <laughs> way happier. Happiness to the corpse. That is uh, defiling a corpse. <laughs> uh, Not when you're six. You are sprinkling sparkle on it. Oh. oh, we get a little theme song here. Oh, I forgot, yeah. Yeah, this is weird because this whole like opening like theme always makes me feel like this was destined to be something bigger, like a cartoon series or like a, a number of games. And it's really funny how in the end, it's just this. There's not really more. But it feels like they planned so much more with this character. It's kind of really sad. Good. Also, it's easy to jam out to. It also like, feels like she's cursed. <laughs> but like, yes. she's happy about it. Uh-huh. Well, she sees the, the legit silver lining on all these oh. storm clouds. It's funny. She does. Happiness to the fire. Oh, there you go. See? Doesn't look like it's gonna help, but. <laughs> yeah. People compare this all the time with Frambo because the same company made them both. Uh, and I do feel like Frambo has a lot more like gameplay elements, but Miss Fortune is such a more fun character in a lot of ways because she's unique. And Frambo is a little bit more, um, I don't wanna say generic, but she's just not as. Um, she doesn't have as many quirks about her. Yeah. You know, even the voice uh, alone, you can I get like a, a little sparkle real back sense. there. Anyway, where are we? Where are we? I think we're, we're having another right choice here. here. Gear say. myself up. Uh, oh, there's a puppy. A puppy. Hello, puppy. What a cute party hat. <laughs> now focus, Miss Fortune. Mm. You have to make uh -oh. a very difficult choice. A very difficult choice. Good thing we have an audience here helping us today. Of the consequences. All right. Do you mean be aware or beware oh. of the consequences? So what should we do with the puppy? Should we play with it or set it free? <gasps> ooh, ooh, I like both of these choices to be honest. So funnily enough, this was a scene that we discussed putting into our musical and we were gonna take our all white cat and try <laughs> oh. and put a hat on him <laughs> and obviously protect him wonderfully because we didn't want to hurt him. But like, we seriously sat there probably for about 10 minutes and went, hmm, can we get him to wear a hat and sit under a tree? He doesn't have to move. Maybe we can. And then we're like, no. We nah. Can't, we can't make our Decided cat wear a hat. Decided it was just too difficult. But I thought it would be a really fun reference that a lot of people that played the game would understand that we are making a play off of the dog with a party hat. Mm -hmm. What's the audience think, Nate? This is probably the closest vote we've had, but Ooh. I think it's leaning towards set it free. <gasps> set it free? Is that what you did when you first played this game? I think I did. That's what I did, too. Yeah. Let's set the puppy free. I'll set it free so we can go to the party. I don't know if that's an okay thing to do with someone's dog it's, when it's they've not. left it it's, it's tied not. up someplace. Let's look look for their owner party. first. Yeah. There, there might be a reason why that dog is there. Ah, yes, the party. Yeah, uh, not every dog should be off a leash. <laughs> this must be his dog. So are we going? That's it, not every yes, dog should be not? leashed it's to something the outside of the owner of there. So it's true. Let's go party. <gasps> Come on, puppy. We're Come going to a party. Puppy, let's go party. This is like the dog that showed up at our house. It Aww. is. It actually looks a little like we, we named it uh, Dog Dog Sitha. Dog Oh, I can pet. Oh, puppy. I'm petting you. Why do you let me? You like me? Oh, she seems so shocked. Yeah, What's right. Your name, sweet puppy? Nothing likes misfortune. Except for this is puppy. Is your name Lil Guilty? Because it should be. That's Aww. a great pickup line. You I was should thinking say that. that. <laughs> When you set somebody free off a leash that's tied to a tree, <laughs> obviously. I like 
the basket, let's kill it. <laughs> hey, where are you gonna take this uh, puppy? Let's go. You got a party to go to, don't you? Yeah, but I'm busy petting the puppy. So soft. And then we spend the rest of the live stream <laughs> petting the dog. I think there are other right. choices we right. need to go make. Wait, wait, wait. Let's go. Oh, no step in the dog poop. Oh, no. Don't I'm do it. To, I there's no way to go forward. There's no, there's no step around it button. Nope. Oh. oh. oh no. I step on doggy doo. Oh. Oh. Uh. She made it worse. Stop! Don't! Don't! Everyone in this situation is making it worse. Stop! <laughs> You're all making let's, it gross. Let's get, let's, let's oh no! Get out of here. Oh no! Bye. We're done here. I can't handle these guys anymore. We'll never speak of this again. Yes, these are like the grossest like crew of weirdos. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you just say we needed more of her in our lives? I did, and I, I'm I'm starting to question if that's actually what we need. Ah. Uh. Ah, oh, I think we might have some more Sir, choices coming up. Miss Fortune, at the other side of this lake, oh. you will be one step closer to the prize of or one eternal swim closer, happiness. Oh, are going to swim? Ah, yes. I don't that think too. we are. To be <laughs> Let's go then. Come on, little cutie. The closest we get to swimming, I think, in the whole game, might be the the pool that she pees in at the beginning of her house. Can make this Ah, uh, it doesn't look like it. Oh, he's pawing at something, isn't he? Is he? I feel like something might be buried. We might have to check some things. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. what are you doing? Oh, his name is Loki. Did you find a treasure? <gasps> oh, I'm to have found the secret <laughs> of fossil. the beach. The beach has a secret. Oh, secret? Yeah. She's really bad at secrets. Let's Don't have tell a her beach secret. secret. The secret is this a nudist beach. <laughs> ah! Ah! Oh. oh, no. Fortune treat and a doggy cookie. One for me and one for okay. Papi. Would you trust Again, those? Don't eat yes. bees. You dump up on the <laughs> bees. Yeah, very specific for Especially this bee. Mm. A treat for you or a treat dog. for the dog. Uh, Do we, why don't you get both? Do we eat a cookie for ourselves or should we give a treat to a little cutie? Why can't we do both? I don't understand why this is an either or. Well, because you'll die from one of them. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> All right, everybody. Are we in the fortune cookie? Or are we giving the doggy the treat? Tough call, tough call. What do we think? What do we think? Oh, I know which way I'd vote, but I'm not gonna influence them. Do you suppose that the doggy treat, if you crack it open, has a little message for the dog? It's like, Aww. <laughs> that would be cute. It's doggy like you'll pee on a fire hydrant and chase a, a cat today. Be like, yes. <laughs> All right, looks like pretty much everybody is voting for the dog treat. So. Doggy treat. All right. Uh. Y'all made your decision? I'll take the doggy treat and use it to make the doggy love me. <laughs> oh. Uh, are you cheating on Benjamin here? I think you and Benjamin uh, are supposed to be. The little cutie's stealing your heart right now. She had the perfect pickup line. I have to say, I'm getting a little jealous right there now. There you go, puppy. You'll okay. never know when it's your last Ow. treat. <laughs> Yay, little cutie gets a treat. Yay. No! Uh, no, puppy. Puppy, don't go. Oh. Freaking oh. blackbirds! Oh. oh my, that will make George uh -oh. really upset. It will yeah. make George really upset. I hope I wow. get to meet the puppy again sometime. I oh bet you no. will. Mr. Voice, why oh. does everyone leave me? Oh, is that because we gave it yeah, a treat? that's true. <laughs> Thank yes. you. Oh no. Oh, well. Bye, oh. puppy. Can I go back and get the cookie now? Wait, wait, wait. Can I eat the fortune cookie? Go. Yay. We made it better! Now the puppy has wings! Yay, little cutie with wings! Uh, oh. Rebecca Scowcroft wants to know, if you guys had Miss Fortune's magical glitter, what would you do with it? Alright, so there's a lot of problems in the world that could use a little glitter <laughs> and some, some sparkle right now. Is the party on the same? So, so face masks? Every, <laughs> every person with a face mask gets one. Every person without a face mask gets some glitter. Thought about um, break the I want to say walk through the hospital and just be throwing it in everybody's room. Yes. <laughs> I think they'd throw me out really fast. Yeah, they would. Yeah, they would. <gasps> Uh-oh. Alright. Mm, this is the next important decision. We have to make it. Alright. It's critical. Does George need to know about the puppy accident? Should should we just kind of leave that quiet, or does it need to come out? How how do we feel? All right. How do you feel? What are we doing, people? Are we telling George about the puppy accident or not? Yes or no? I don't know, man. Like he get mad. George what? could be really disappointed in us for letting his dog go and then getting eaten by buzzards, crows, ravens, whatever they are, black monsters. 
Dragons. I think they're dragons. I think they're the dragon from How to Train Your Dragon. Mm -hmm. uh, this is another really close one. Yeah. Oh, if we uh, don't tell him though, then if he finds out a different way, then I we're feel think bad. it's leaning towards yes. Yes, we need to tell George. Do we have to? I, I sure. like how moral our chat is. They're like making oh. all the like yes, idealistic decisions. Good. Like, of it's course you should tell George about his dog. It's the least that we could do for that sweet baby. Thank you. I mean, he's not gonna believe us anyway. Be like, a bunch of birds came down and took your dog. And be like, it was tied up. <laughs> like, well, well, I untied it. <laughs> not by the time they came there to get it. Father away. Oh okay. man. <gasps> Look at that! <laughs> oh, okay. We've got another choice to make. What should we do about it? What, should what we are we gonna do? Are we going to release it or bring it with us? Release it. I mean, right. if it lays here in the air on the dock too long, it's not gonna be alive anyway. <laughs> What are well, we gonna so do? So we're asking, do we put it back in the water or do we put it in our pocket? What are we gonna do? All right, everyone. Huh. Are we taking this fish? Okay, so hear me out. If you dunk your coat first in the water so your pocket's full, then you put the fish in your pocket. <laughs> <laughs> then you're good for a short time. You this, just need to keep this doing is some it. AJ Locke, I think we can make this work. Or you take off the hat, fill the hat ooh, with the water, ooh, put the fish in it, yeah. and put it over your head really tight so it doesn't leak out. And then you have a fish on your head. Yes. Yes. Oh, this one's really close too. I didn't expect this one to be so. Hear me out. You, you, you uh, take a big mouthful of water and you rah, put the fish in. Do you see how big that fish is? And then you walk around. Little she is. <laughs> I've seen Mr. Bean do it. Oh, it's possible. I have. Yeah. Uh, I, what do you think, Nate? This one's tough. What's our chat saying about? I think bring it might fish? be a uh, bring it with you. Bring this fish with us? Yeah, it's very close. So. All right. All right, okay, we're I don't know if this is a good idea, I but... I think she's putting it in her pocket, though, not her hat. His or her name mouth. is Rodrigo, and huh? he needs a new place to stay. Oh, he does. His name is Rodrigo? Rodrigo? You can hang with us, dude. We're so coming to a party, and Rodrigo can so can be our plus she's one. She's like him. Rodrigo, but in tiny pieces, you know? <laughs> uh, I do want some sushi. You might want Sounds to keep like a voice down. Yeah. <laughs> Sleeping with the fishes or uh, cutting them up into Have little things. Have you heard of sushi? <laughs> it's like you, but in tiny pieces. <laughs> uh, so Rodrigo's going to accompany us to the party. That's very cool of him. Uh, uh, hopefully uh, everybody uh, thinks uh, he's the life of the party. He's uh, a okay. party animal. Yeah, I'm going to pause right here for a second. George. Uh, trigger warning for anyone who needs a trigger you warning. Uh, specifically a suicide trigger warning. So if you don't want puppy. that, go ahead and just skip forward Stop a couple it. minutes. I'm doing it or for go ahead and leave for a second and you can come back when we're done. Yeah. Okay? We'll... Uh, <laughs> we'll get a fish. We'll go through this kind of as quickly as you can, so sure. you don't have to miss much. Um, yeah, we'll wave around and make sure you know when it's safe. Um, for the rest of us that are still here, I don't think we have any choices to make. That's the good. Oh, we uh, do have a choice. Her, ring the bell. I spoke too soon. All right, guys, let's do this. All right. Lady split. Do you knock or ring the bell at George's house? Let's yeah, go. this goes for real life too. Do you usually knock or do you ring the doorbell? Hmm. Or if you're, I, I if you're the knock. if you're the FedEx guy trying to deliver a package, <laughs> you, do a package <laughs> you like gently caress the door so nobody ever Hope hears nobody you. answers it so you can keep their package and never deliver it. Aww. True story. Kind of makes you cry. We got it anyway. Uh, yeah. So knocking, uh, ringing. I think this I'm looks like an overwhelming a ring the bell. Yeah, I, I like ringing bells more than knocking. Like we have the technology, might as well ding dong. I always knock. Like I don't think I've ever chosen to ring someone's doorbell. I'll invite myself in. Uh. You That's not, not okay. okay. You shouldn't do that. No. So if you're uh, if you're taking misfortune as life advice, please, if nobody answers the door, don't invite yourself in. That's don't just untie not people's okay. puppies. Don't yeah. eat things Are on the beach. Are you sure this is the right house? Where I'm is not the sure party? This is the right house. Where is the party? Hello. I like how he's got a painting in the background of that bird. Who oh, the took his bird. Dog. That, yeah. <laughs> Stole his a, dog. Is that a llama on the? All right. Oh. So that Excuse happened. Excuse me. Uh, I think we found George. Ah, uh, he's seen better days. I think. Are you the owner of a puppy? Because I bring really bad news. That is really bad oh, news. No. Wait. It looks like oh. he hung himself. It does kind of look like that. I think this like is the first time in the game where Should I, I like, hit oh, him like a piñata? It's not that no, cute. No, his fortune is yeah. dead. Dead. Uh -oh. He's wearing a pair of sweet boots. It's he true. His boots are works. super cool. So anybody who owns a pair of sweet boots, you should wear them around so you can't be dead. Oh. You're immune to deadness hey, once you have sweet fortune. boots. On. I think this party's over. Yeah. Let's leave. I think I'll we should. I'll meet you in the back. George, you know, now that you're dead, your puppy is gone. Oh. I like the puppy. 
Bye. That was a lot easier, I think, than I thought it was going to be to confess that. Yeah, it was. Oh, and uh, now, you want to make I George... think this is the weirdest instance of the glitter, but let's, uh... His sweet uh, boots. Uh, Happiness to you, hey, Trippy Nyata. <laughs> standing on something that's, now? That's there. Yeah. Nice. Oh. It's only a pinata if you hit him with that. You're supposed to go out that, that okay. way. Am I? Yes, past him. I thought I had to go back to the front door. No. Oh, okay, you're right. You're right. There's an yeah. exit sign. All right, My so bed. we're going to get off of this screen. Let's go into the woods and get It is kind of fun. I'm wondering if it's an art yeah. gallery and he doesn't actually live there. Because mm. there's an awful lot of art in there. You know what's funny? We don't even know why he did that. We nope. know, like, nothing about this guy. Which, unfortunately, this is one of those situations where I feel a little like the game sometimes just wants to be dark and, and edgy for no apparent reason. Um, that said, maybe it's part of the fact that the crow was dead after crossing the road. And, maybe. like, I do we've had a she, few. She encounters a lot of dead things. Yeah. Like, so I'm wondering if that's just part of this realm that she's in where nothing really is living for the most part, uh, except we can see people I love the It's safe to come back now. You can come back uh, if you've been waiting. So yeah, we're all good now. Everything scary is over or triggery is over for now. We might run into more of it later. Um, thanks for bearing with us. We got out of there. Yes. All, all foxes, foxes are evil. Are this evil. guy. So this guy is not polite. I feel like you're taking this wrong. No. I know. I'm getting a little huffy about it. Yeah. Fox you know, before. I foxes are cool. But um, Tails is like one of my favorite foxes in the world, and Aww, he's not evil. Tails. He's awesome. Tails he's better is, than you, Mr. Voice. So. Tails and misfortune on an adventure would be like my perfect story. Tails, I don't think, could put up with it and <laughs> be like, no, "Don't do that. No, that's not how that works." <gasps> What's this? A doll. A doll. <gasps> I love like that one back there. Eh? Oh. Super easy to make, by the way. Mm. So, uh, if you kinda need a creepy. doll in your life. It's kind of creepy. People judge you if you make these. <laughs> we judged, do? We judged Gwen when she's like, I can make that, and they put one together. Hey. And we're like, well, how often do you do, you do this, that? and where do you yeah. work? No, wait a second, wait a second. I where learned, did you learn that? That is a straw doll that I learned from the Kirsten Larson books in American Girl Dolls. Like, every girl my age, I swear, knows how to make one of those. Right? I, Back mm, me up on this. Witches. Back me up on this. I only see that in, like, the Wicker Man witches. and stuff, like the Coven. It sounds like uh, they uh, created a coven of witches. Yeah. No. I, mm. She was a little, like, immigrant girl from Sweden, and she moved to Minnesota, and she, she made had, a lot of little friends who all to, cast evil curses on people. She had to leave her legit doll home because they couldn't carry everything uh, with them, and she made a doll like that instead and played uh, in the woods with her cousins. It was, I just reread these the other day. It's so worth it. I'm here, just here. Well, it's they, creepy see, looking. It's just have antlers. Fitz has like hair and like a little shawl and a skirt and whatever. And you like mm. name it Susan. It's but, not creepy once okay, you name but here's, it Susan. Here's part of the problem is. <laughs> This thing you could light on fire so easily and it would burn and, and look scary. And I feel like that is what like hexes somebody in your neighborhood to light on fire as well. <laughs> you can light any doll on fire. This one more than others. This one will go right up. It, it feels evil in my hand. I think these are evil. All right, so Kayla is backing Gwen up, but Nat yes. is saying she has no idea what you're talking about. No! Mm, <laughs> could go either way. All right, you guys let us know if you've seen these in anywhere other than creepy <sighs> circles drawn on the ground where you curse people. I don't know. I don't uh, know if American know. Girl dolls are done or not, but they were like, I loved them. Aren't they catching little... up with like history? Like they're no, in the 90s I, now or something? I feel like American they're still dolls? making them because I feel like I recently mm. saw like one was part of a meme where it was like they're releasing one that's going to be like a deaf, um, like a deaf representation. Okay. And the joke that people made was like, so the other ones could hear us? What is it? <laughs> <laughs> Fox. That's great. Right. I recognize that black tail. It's Benjamin. Uh, oh, yes, by the black creepy tail. circle on the ground. Before he kills you. It's a creepy I circle. Benjamin doll. Kill me. <laughs> creepy candles. There's no doll in his circle. I don't even know if that's There's red paint. There's no doll in his circle. And of uh, course it's paint. It's a bucket. He left Benjamin? it nearby. Do you want to play with me? Who wants blood in a bucket? It's paint. To be fair, he looks very friendly. Yeah, he does. Oh, no, so go. I'm going to put this back because uh, touching it makes me uncomfortable. Oh, <laughs> what relief. We are safe now. As they do. Let's keep playing my game. Okay. See, it even stands by itself. Kind of creepy. Something not right. I made it to you do It's not okay. It. I, magical cave? You told me to make it. It's not okay. okay. <laughs> All right. A magical cave. Should we follow Benjamin? To the magical cave? Something like that. Sure, but we're going to... Oh, no, we uh, can't do this. I don't know what he's been doing here, but... It looks, it looks like, like Benjamin likes, likes to paint. To paint. Let's sure. Yeah. Hey, haven't you drawn like circles like this books. before? Dude, that's like a Focus weird tattoo that he's we like practicing. Going. He's gonna bring that in like a picture and be like, "This 
but on my back. <laughs> now lay places, and people can like open weird circles to hell on me. Delightful. It'll Delightful. be weird. It'll be weird. Sure will. Huh. All right, so this is the uh, creepy cave. Um, I just need to point out there's a police ribbon right here. Uh-huh. And, and the falling rocks thing. Some and an dead outline. person was here. Yeah. I don't think we should go here. I think we should go this way. Uh, seems okay. Well, we'll see what Mr. Voice thinks of that. Huh. Can you uh, go that way any faster? <laughs> Trying to how, how does run? There's running. I like her run. She's like, oh, I thought he stopped you. Maybe if you get all the way to the edge. No, he stops you if you say you don't. Want oh to yeah. Me. Which we're about to have another choice. So, this uh, creepy police tape and uh, the outline of a murder victim. <laughs> Maybe it was just an accident. Did they do that for just accidents? Cave? It doesn't look bad, magical. Just wait know. until you go inside. <laughs> this guy is really excited. Oh, I have a question. Just wait until you go inside. What does this sign mean? I don't know. Sparkles. Sparkles. Ah, cool. It's definitely sparkles. So, I'm gonna put that sign whenever out. Whenever you're ready. <laughs> ah, cool. All right, are we gonna stay in the forest or are we gonna enter the cave? What All do you right, guys everybody. think? Everybody, enter the cave or stay in the forest. You only got one shot at this, so make sure you make a good decision. And uh, don't let the weird police tape and the sign and that uh, dead body marker fool you. Um, it's magical. I, I think you, you should us. pay attention to all of the clues abundantly present for you as to where you should go. The sparkle sign. Clearly, sparkly people need to go that direction. So, I think we're heading the right path. I think we're on track mm -hmm. for a magical time in the magical cave. I think we should go for a magical time above ground. Ah, uh, you've already been above ground. It hasn't been that magical. All right, guys. Which is it? Another tough one. I think mm. it's looking like stay. Stay. Hey! What? Now. I'll just stay in the forest. Oh, but then you won't find the eternal happiness. See, I told you guys. Uh, she seems okay with that. <laughs> uh, oh, okay. <laughs> and then the game ended. Uh, unfortunately, to progress, we're going to have to enter let the cave. enter the cave this time. I can't wait to see the magic inside. Oh, oh boy. she's so optimistic. The magic inside. There's gonna be magic inside. Oh the boy. Game. There's gonna oh, be a even this little loading like screen of her, like dancing. Yeah. A stick. A stick. This cave is huge. That is pretty big. Echo. <laughs> well, let's explore the cave. Okay. 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 <laughs> I'm just joking. That was no echo. It was me. I've totally done that. Real before. comedian, Miss Fortune. I've definitely done that. Thank you. Hey, can I tell you guys about a real time that we visited a cave? Oh. That was like dark and scary like this. It was really cool. Um, so we took a trip to Hawaii last year uh, for my first anniversary with Gwen. <gasps> what was and that? that happened? Well, I don't know that didn't happen. I don't even know what that was. <laughs> what? Well, convertible with hamsters. Uh, so we went to a cave in Hawaii that was made by lava that burned its way through. Um, it's called a lava tube, and it got really tight going at points, and there was no light whatsoever. You get so far from the doors, you need flashlights in there. Magical hamster party. This was not in that cave. Wow, that wasn't in the cave. I'm not even sure that should be on YouTube, to be honest. Uh, I don't remember who said some it. Someone on earlier said, though, when you entered the cave, to touch nothing but the lamp. Oh. <laughs> Important <laughs> advice, thank you. <laughs> Especially nothing in that club. Uh, yes. It, or bring sanitizer at least. Yeah. These hamsters aren't social distancing. No, they're not. Um, I, I liked the lava tubes in Hawaii better. Yeah, although a little neon light would go a long ways in there. It, would, it, it was actually would really cool. dark in there. Yeah. We, we <laughs> didn't intend to go super far in them, and, and we didn't go super far in them, but we literally went down by the light of our cell phones because we were like, we're not actually like hikers. We're oh, not yeah. going to do like a massive spelunking. Didn't they say it goes for miles? Yeah, it's like four miles. We stopped like miles maybe a half mile, and we're like, nope. <laughs> I'm not even sure we made it that far. Probably not. We basically got to the first like thing you had to actually legit climb over, yeah, and then we were like, crawl. maybe we should stay on this Yeah, side. like, I don't want to have to crawl through this. Um, I'll to post on our Instagram account and our social media uh, some photos from that cave when we're done with the stream today. Yeah. Because um, they still have some I've never used, and they're really cool. They are. They were lots yeah. of fun. And doesn't quite look like this, though. By the light of our cell phones. <laughs> now, yeah. okay, so I know you've made it into this club before. Yeah. 
I watch out! Hamster fight. There's a hamster fight. Are you <gasps> going to do something about it? What are we going to do about it? That's totally. All right. End the violence between the hamsters. Are we ending the violence between these hamsters, or are we just going to let them uh, mug each other? No. Let this let this play out. Huh? What 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 are we going to do about this? This is terrible. Hamster violence. Hamster violence. I never thought I would encounter this. No. This is a uh, this is a bad neighborhood. We shouldn't have even come in here. You know what? But here You're we right. Are. You're right. Not magical down here. Um, I was it's, mistaken. It's a little magical. These are the, like a, there's a mugger hamster and like a hamster convertible and like a hamster like club. Like, yeah, but they're gonna, gonna kill magical. each other. All right, looks they might like, kill us looks too. Looks like uh, most people are saying to uh, not end the violence. Don't end the violence. We're gonna just let. We're gonna see how this plays out. This isn't anything to do with us. I'm with oh, her. Yeah. I'm with her. Well, what's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? I'm on the edge of my seat. Fight! Fight, hamster! Ooh. Oh! Ooh! Oh! Uh. He just beat down that hamster. See? They went inside to Porter. Oh no! <laughs> it looks like someone spilled oh, that ketchup. No. Oh no! He killed that other hamster. I like how you have to go into the club to do that. Yeah, it is kind of like, funny. You think you would have like dragged him behind one of the cars. Or yeah, just like, I don't know, that hamster ran up and nobody tried to stop him with a knife already. Like, can we, clearly uh, they're can just- Can we sparkle that? Uh, no, but I think you need to pick up that little bag. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I think you should return that. Uh... Oh, are those means? Oh, Maybe no. I should try one so I can uh -oh. keep my breath fresh. This is a, a mistake. I'm a little wily, you know? Uh, I, you should not. Who is that on the, the, the money? Is that Benjamin Franklin? Well, I'm feeling really nice. I don't know. I like how they don't even give you a choice to nope. try. No. No. Nope. You picked nope. up the bag. It's. Uh, it's all right. Now. And don't do drugs, kids. <laughs> or adults. Don't do drugs. Just don't do drugs. <laughs> it's not a good idea. This kind of thing happens to you. Those pills would have to be really, really tiny. Hamsters try to kill you. Yeah, Those it's are true. Hamsters <gasps> it's a little cutie. Where's it going? Oh. Rainbow. Wow, these breath mints are really effective. <laughs> Man. I like that it took the stripes off her coat. Yeah, you're right. That's good. Oh no! This is like the kind of thing. Yeah, <laughs> it's like having a good time and then like suddenly a bunch of crows are Oh, uh, let's be real. I don't have a good time in any of my dreams. They're like just all the way it through. It just starts bad. with the crows attacking you. Yes, it's like, oh, and then last night the crows attacked me and I fell from the sky and got eaten. Uh oh. You're not looking so good, dude. Well, that wasn't a meant to refresh my at all. Nah. Are you all nah. right? Nah. I'm okay. <laughs> She's like resilient. <sighs> Meh. It is yeah. what it is. Okay. Cool. So we should find the owner of that. The owner of that. Where are we gonna find the owner of that? I'm gonna it's guess. We're gonna judge them really hard too. Little lady, get inside. No, I'm not very important. You say, okay. Well, I can't believe that guy. We have to find another way out now. I can't believe that guy. Another way out. Not very important. I'm okay. Can you believe this guy? These tiny cutie cars are killing me with their cuteness. <laughs> so cute. I used to have a, a little like Volkswagen Beetle that was like tiny like that that Look you could put a hamster in. It was like that small. With their tiny cocktails and their tiny clothing. Have you ever been this to a party is too cute, cute for me. No. So, I think it's specific to certain types of parties. Okay. But you have to get through the entire party without saying the word cute. And, like, if you do, you have to give your cute card to somebody else and whoever, to, to whoever catches you saying the word cute. And then, like, whoever has the most cute cards at the end of the game what? wins. That's dumb. She would have just blocked her cute like, card so many times. Yeah. The dumbest reason to have a party. <laughs> it well, does it's, kind it's, of. It's, like, it's How usually often? at, like, baby showers oh, or at, like, okay. Um, okay. Yeah, I was like, I don't think people use the word cute that often, to be honest. Like any Maybe of those parties too. where somebody's trying to sell you something, which yeah. maybe you've never gone to, I don't know. But like, no. anything like no, that. No, I've never gone to <laughs> That's I, called a flea market. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, like, I think I went to one once, it was like this woman trying to sell you a bunch of stamps. Yeah. Like, I, I've heard of these things, like, what yeah. they call Avalon or something like that. They're like... Avalon? I'm the maybe, city where no, Arthur I'm trying is to, trying to get to. <laughs> Uh, they're like perfumes and Avon. Avon, thank Avalon. you. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, I didn't go to the party or buy any of it. So <laughs> I like it. I like an Avalon party better though. Be like, so there's a lake in the middle of our living room. 
I just assume that they named their product after it. I like, it's it's doable. Oh my goodness! Is the lady with the, the thing I was supposed to return to? Her I over think here. you should go down there. Also, those hamsters are way too close. They need to socially distance a little bit. <laughs> I'm gonna be laughing about the Avalon party forever. Just by the way. Look at this little old uh, hamster lady. She's in trouble. Oh. Oh. She's got purple I hair. I want to be her when I grow She's up. She's the owner of the club back there. How does he recognize her? Yes. He knows Looks everything. Like Mr. Voice robbed. goes to like. He robbed her. This party all the time. With a black man. Yes, you're right. Yes, you're right. Well, good for her that we recovered her bag. Excuse me. I think I have your purse. Oh, man. She's going to be so grateful. She's going to give us one of so her huge. mints. Go see on the mints, though. I try one, <laughs> and it was a wild ride. E. Is that for me? What is it? <gasps> oh. Oh. Uh, you're not old enough to go into this club, Miss Fortune. <laughs> That's I don't know how to tell, tell you this, but uh, probably shouldn't be in there. <laughs> totally large enough to go into this club. She's big enough to be in the club. She is not old enough to be in this club. And one step closer uh, to the eternal happiness. Why does this game for the eternal happiness go through a nude hamster club? Uh, this guy needs to think through his rules a little bit. Technically, if we had made different decisions, we could have skipped the nude hamster club and instead gone to the hamster oh. mobsters. Uh, let's not put the onus on us. Uh, they chose to go through the nude hamster club. I said They did we. it. They did it. It was you guys. Let's. So when YouTube me. comes after us, <laughs> let me know. You guys made that decision. She is a VIP. Finally, a real boy. This is probably like her first party ever, you think? Oh, I'm not sure she's like 10 times sad. I'm not like she probably has never had like her own birthday parties uh, and stuff. I don't think she shrink. Is this the VIP floor? Yeah, I think she did. Yes. You that said, she did have that. one friend that Am killed her. Of course you are. Parents, so. Maybe all these hamsters in here are bigger. You that need to be. find the white rabbit. The white, white rabbit? rabbit? Why? In a hamster joint? It will lead you closer know. to the eternal happiness. All her dance moves. Okay, I'll find <laughs> That's how I jam too. This is, I walk into like YouTube parties and stuff and people <laughs> avoid me like this because I'm like. <laughs> That's exactly what happens. This is uh, what real parties at YouTube are like, by the way. Uh, They're exactly like this. Hamsters? <laughs> yes, everyone there is a hamster. I don't get it. Mm, yummy. Strawberry yummy. Juice. Yummy. And they only serve strawberry juice. And they have uh, strange pulls on. Uh, uh, that guy. They have that guy. That guy escaped from like Mount Your Friends or something to be. Oh, no. <laughs> I, that, that guy has a six pack. Oh no, Stoney. Oh, no. What Stoney. Are you this is You're gonna fight this guy? What's happening? <laughs> Mr. Voice is like, I don't know. I didn't put this in the game. No, we don't have time for this. <laughs> no. I'm sorry, but it's on rock and roll, Stoney. Uh, I like that Stoney makes his own decisions and nobody can stop him. All right, you ready? I you have to. Gwen's gonna have to remember oh. what the buttons on the controller are. All right, are. so I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fight this dance battle for. Oh, you don't even have to. It's literally that. Do you want to do it? Why don't you do it? With, with this stick? Yeah, just use the stick. This you can remember which direction is left and up and No, stuff, I can't. Right? Think you can do it. Stoney's got his game face on. All right, we gotta stay quiet so you can. Unfortunately, you guys can't see all the arrows because they're covering them. But oh, well, guys, she's doing well. She's doing awesome. You're on fire. That's bad. We should put out the fire. Wait. <laughs> this is my jam. I'm gonna put this on like my iPod. So when I drive around town, I'll roll down my windows and stop at the lights. And I'll put down the window and I'll lower my sunglasses and I'll look at the car next Sucky. What are you doing so bad? <laughs> you were doing great, I thought. I was. There was a bunch of things in a row. Great. Sweet moves. Nice. There you go. Shake that booty. Shake that booty? Oh, Dude, no. Stoney is enjoying himself a little too much. I love you. I love you. Perfect. Sweet. Nice. Dude, his moves are good. He has the best moves. Great. Sweet. Nice. Booty. You can tell when I started actually like focusing on this because I was like, I'm not dancing anymore. I love you. Cute. Don't worry. I'm dancing enough for both of us. Ow. I'm apparently hurting myself on front. You can do it. Oh no. Sucky. Sucky. She's so we're not, judgy. We're not judging you. Don't worry. Only she is. <laughs> 
<laughs> She's throwing you under the bus pretty hard right now. Dude, that hamster in his underpants is also judging you. Let that inspire you. Hey, set him on fire. Yeah. Uh, he had pretty cool moves. But that's funny. We switched them and we uh, did the unicorn for ours. We so did. this was a little different from our music. Tony, everyone was looking at your sweet moves. And not oh, at that wow. hamster's junk. I'm sorry. I don't <laughs> say that out loud. <laughs> sorry. To get going. Replayed. Do we, we don't watch our mouse as much. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> oh no. Well now we have some insight into AJ's psyche. I'm gonna walk <laughs> past the <this> screen. <laughs> uh, oh, you think you found the white rabbit. Look, That's not a real rabbit, rabbit, though. She's Call cosplaying it. as one. Yes, yeah, true. She's doing a good job, too. I like it's it. It's pretty good. I believe it. I'm trying to figure out what this one is cosplaying as. She's got like a superhero. Oh, I thought you meant on. the one from like the Big Bang Theory up here. <laughs> <laughs> like, hey. <okay. laughs> All right, we made it through. I think we're one step closer to the eternal happiness. Ooh. If Mr. Voice is to be believed. I never believe him. No? No. Never? Wow. Wait, we look. Oh. Yeah, hey, you gotta come you up out of the screen. On the other side I know, of but the screen. Hey, there's, listen, there's a whole like three other rooms that we skipped. Must be hard not knowing much about our little old future. Will hmm. misfortune rarely die? If so, how will she die? And when will the evil fox kill her? No. Will she find the Never. eternal happiness? Maybe. I personally hope she does. <clears throat> Act normal. She's coming. This is weird that he's like on her side. Like, I don't think he is on her side. Dude, that was like oh, super power. She's like Iron Man. Oh, like, you <laughs> made it. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Where are we? We're one step Ooh. closer to one the grand closer. prize of eternal happiness. I feel like we totally Why? Never because this song. I'm like, not allowed to be closer. outside this Aww, life. Oh, that know? would be cute. Don't worry. It's not far from here. It does here. make me want to come Great. back to this game again. We have all the costumes still. Just we so could. Much. We could make a song called One Step Closer. Um, um, so, yeah. Kid. It's about three of six, so I was wondering yeah. if this was like the stopping point. I was trying to figure out whether uh, if we split here, if we can finish up the game another time, if what's left of the game is short enough that we could do an entire extra episode. Why don't we go an extra 15 minutes sure. and see if we, because I think we're not quite halfway. Okay, yeah. Let's go just a little bit further, because you're right, there's still a bit. So play just a little bit more. This girl is missing. Like this. Maybe I kept I trying to figure out if this was like misfortune for like a long time. Don't go now, Miss Fortune. Does I look can like protect you. Really? Yes. Really. All right, then. <laughs> I like that all these people are wearing their masks properly. Because the quarantine. That one's Hello. not. Oh, that's her. Yeah, I agree. Ah! <laughs> Hello, goodbye. <laughs> I think she's hiding in the garbage can. She's totally in that garbage can. The world needs a plan. Oh. Open fields. Are you need like go. Get it? <laughs> I don't think that's very <laughs> clever, Miss Fortune. I don't think that's what that is. But see, this is part of her being like super optimistic. Like whatever mm. it is, yeah, it's it's something good. Yeah, it's true. Phantasmagoria. Oh. Oh, she's all about that. <gasps> Phantasmagoria is coming to open fields. That's so awesome. Maybe we could find time to Maybe check it out Maybe we could later. find out in another yeah. episode. Don't play what? with my feelings now. Oh. Let's focus on finding the eternal happiness first. Let's do that. Then we'll see. All Mr. Right. Voice is right. I can't wait. <laughs> Can I just say how much I was rooting for that guy when I first played Little Misfortune? It's Benjamin <gasps> from the Hoods in the Woods. The Hoods in the Woods? You know, it's our boy, you Benjamin. Want to hang out or something? I'm you available. Children, don't uh, engage with that wild fox. I uh, told you. Children. You can engage with wise. whoever Somebody you like. They're gonna get engaged. Andy, <gasps> are you a wild, dangerous fox? <gasps> yes. Oh. He <laughs> 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 found me out. <laughs> wild beast run off. I don't want anything bad anything happening to you. All right. Don't want anything bad to happen. Ooh, strangers. I like her. Ooh. I think she just walks right by you. Are you gonna put up his poster for it? No, I was gonna follow the nice lady. Oh. I don't know if you Woo! Oh, this is Benji stuff. Oh, that's really this good. This is absolutely the best art I have ever yes. seen. No, wait a minute. So she walked through George's house. I didn't she know saw Benjamin his art. was so creative. Oh, yeah, no, did. that's better. That okay. looks like that. Child blinded by her hey. feelings. What for... did you just say? Oh, I 
didn't mean it like that. <laughs> Looks huh. like a child is hey, drawn. Shouldn't we be focusing on finding Maybe. the prize? I'm focused. I was just thinking about this actually, like the way like they just walk by you and stuff. Because this game is set, where did we figure out it's set? It's not actually in Spain, is it? I don't remember, because I can't, I can't remember either what, her what country is, in the sorry. world this is. But I was thinking about this today, uh, because I actually had to go get my passport photo taken, because we missed our trip to Europe. Oh. Language. Speak, speak proper language. So you got your passport photo? I got my passport photo because we are still going to take a trip overseas to see you guys in Europe at some point. Um, and I had to get my passport renewed because I was going to do it when we got back and Seth to do it before we go, apparently. Watching these guys so close to her is like, especially during the pandemic, it's kind of funny. But it made me think Americans are really well equipped for social distancing because we already refuse to stand within a meter of each other. <laughs> We get weirded out when a stranger stands like within about three feet of you, like out in public. We're like, what are they doing? Why are they so close to me? Like Gwen is about as close as you let most strangers stand to you out in public in America. So, I wouldn't even I think I'm too close. Sparkle, Mr. Voice, do it. Here you go. Yes. Oh, she sparkled that person's butt. Well, thank you. That person's butt got sparkled. Oh my goodness. Yes. Oh. All these dead miserable, things. miserable dead, dead things. things. Everywhere. Yeah. yeah, just an observation I had when I was standing there waiting. I was like, yeah, I'm keeping this like 15 foot gap between me and the next person in line. And I'm like, this never happened when we went to Europe. Everybody there stands actually close together. I'm like, it's gotta be way different for them to like, oh, I need to stand like three or four people apart. I'm like yeah. for us, it's like you stand about the same as you normally would and you're already minimum six feet different. I remember thinking that, especially when like we went to a couple tourist places. And usually in tourist places, people are more packed together than yeah. others. But I was thinking about like, literally I had to push my way through human beings in certain places in mm -hmm. Europe. Would never happen in the US. The US. If we went to like the Statue of Liberty or something, maybe. maybe. But we okay. also like went out just to like restaurants and things like that. And it was still tightly packed in a lot of those places. Oh, we have a friend. Oh seagull. boy. It looks like Kevin's dad. What? Who's that? Who's Kevin? He used to sit in the thumb box next to school. Oh, he didn't okay. have any clothes on, oh. and the police officer beat him with a stick. Oh, okay. Fascinating. Remember, that fish you huh? earlier. You mean Rodrigo? My fish friend forever? My fish friend? You give it to the seagull. What? I'm sure it would appreciate some company. Hmm. Do you think so? I guess that maybe huh. that would be a All right, here's a decision for you guys. To maybe do. I it's guess. time. It's time to figure out. What are we going to do with Rodrigo? Do we give him away? All right, Can't everybody. Give Rodrigo away? But the seagull that looks like Kevin's the dad. Fish keeping it. He looks so hungry. Look at him. He's got a hungry face. That's the way I look when I get hungry. I lay naked in sandboxes and, and drink. Uh, I drink juice. apple juice and uh, Dr. Pepper <laughs> mixed together. <laughs> Kevin's dad needs this fish. It's I... a cry for help. <laughs> <laughs> do I need to help you out? <laughs> What's Rodrigo going to do in your pocket? Die in your Stay pocket? Stay warm and happy with me forever. I haven't seen him in like literally a month. Well, so. when was the last time you looked in my pocket? <laughs> uh, uh, I haven't. It's very close, but I do think it looks like keep the fish is the better Keep the fish. The We're not going to let Kevin's dad have this fish. I, it, right. It's very close, but it seemed like there was. Okay. We're going to starve this guy. Alrighty. If you want the fish, fish friend pocket. forever, you need to find your own. Oh, Rodrigo that's fair. is my responsibility. No that's fishing hand. Very mature of you, Miss Fortune. This guy is probably built for fishing, to be honest. He looks like a seagull. Yes. I think he can go get his own fish. But can we, can we at least like, give him happiness or something? I don't think so. I, I don't think there's any happiness to give him. <laughs> oh, are you gonna ride this? Yeah! Would you like to ride the royal horse of the park? Oh boy, would I? Aww. Oh, I'm, um, I guess uh, it's up are to you guys. Are we riding it or not, guys? Uh, if you guys think we should ride the royal horse of the park. I think we should. I, I agree with AJ for once. Whoa, so let's really? ride the horse. Are you riding the royal horse? Oh, we yes all think or no. we should ride the royal horse. Mm. But uh, if some of you guys are killjoys and don't like fun, <laughs> alright, you can vote no. Kill Monday, killjoy. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't intentional. Like it's most a, of my it's jokes. It's a reach anyway. Hmm. 
Royal Horse of the Park. Yes, huh? it looks like. Yes, riding yeah. the Royal Horse. Riding the Royal Horse of the Park. Saddle Royal up. Royal Horse, you say? I'm oh, a little yes. princess, you know? Oh, I do know uh, that. I thought you were a little lady. We're all little ninja. princesses here, and we all ride the Royal Look Horse. Look I'm on the horse. That looks like so much fun. Stop it. Right. Uh-oh. Oh. Ooh, that's the Royal Dismount. <laughs> uh, that was unfortunate. Are you all right? But fun. I'm okay. Are it was you definitely worried fun. because I'm such a little lady? Yes. Of course. You are really tiny and you could break. I broke my arm once. Oh no. So you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> was it ro riding the royal horse of the park? Am I allowed to ride it? Again? Yeah, I think you are. <laughs> 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 just bear with me, just one more time. One more time. It's because we had so much fun. I just, I just want to see if something different happens. I think she has a little bit of different dialogue. I don't think you can break oh. her arm though. You might get an achievement if you ride it like 20 times in a row or something stupid. Yeah. Oh, no conversation even. Okay. No. All right. It's just there. I was just curious. Thank it's you funny that uh... every time she rides it, she falls off though. She can't successfully ride that horse. Check out that duck. I thought she said Let's check chicken go. duck. It's fortune. You don't want to get involved with ducks. This guy hates ducks? Hates What's wrong with foxes? What's ducks wrong with are ducks? Pretty cool. and ducks are pretty he's cool. He's carrying a boombox. This oh. could be my opportunity to finally dance for real. This guy is definitely like cool because he's carrying a boombox. Dance moves? Oh. Should we show off some dance moves, guys? Or, or let the duck dance. Oh. oh. Are we going to dance? Mm. Or are we going to let the duck dance? I do want to see the duck dance. Is it like the he chicken does dance? Like but I know she has some good moves too. Maybe she, she does. can do the duck's moves. I've seen her dance though. I haven't seen his dance yet. But that said, if we let him dance, it doesn't say we can make him dance. Maybe he won't. Mm. And I'd be really disappointed if this duck doesn't show us any of his moves. Show us your moves, duck! We need to see them. Yeah, threaten the duck is not one of the options. <laughs> Uh, uh, it looks like they want us to dance. We can make the duck ride on the royal horse of the bar. Of course. Check this out. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh. oh, her moves are so cool. Oh, hey, duck. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Duck. Oh. unfortunate. What are you talking about? Don't be like that. That was normal. Oh, if you say so. I don't like this duck anymore. Blowing smoke right in our face. Get out of here, duck. What a rude dude. Yeah. Oh, do we want to ride this thing? Is we a barber Would you pole? like to ride this one? It's like a tornado. That's dangerous. Are we riding the twister? The twister? Are we going to ride the twister? I get, like, hype at all of these. Though, Let's if it's ride anything the twister. Like, Let's ride the if twister. If it's anything like the royal horse of the park, I'm not sure it's a good idea. It's probably not, but that doesn't mean that we shouldn't do it. I've done a lot of bad ideas in my lifetime. Yeah, okay. And then you get to talk about them live on a on a replayed stream. <laughs> no, I mostly What don't would we talk have to talk that? about if we didn't make bad decisions throughout our life? Uh it's a yes. Darn good thing. Yes, they want you to ride the twister. Alright, we're gonna ride this twister. Yes, I want to ride. Hop on. Let's do it. Zoom! Wait, go stop! Ah, I can't hold up anymore! This thing should be banned. Oh no, misfortune. <laughs> he can't even help it. He thinks it's hilarious. Hey, look at that. <gasps> okay, I have to tell you guys, I have a favorite ride at the playground near us that we filmed a bunch of musicals at. There's a ride I love that's exactly like that, where it spins, <laughs> but it, it uses your weight kind of against you. Um, so especially if you're a bigger person, like not a child, like me. I'm not a child. I'm a bigger person um, than a child. So when I get on it, it throws me off so easily. But it's the most fun ride. And it's like, it's kind of like wood chips, so it's fine. You can fall off okay. I'm pretty sure I have video of you and Jules and Adriana. I was gonna say, I'm pretty sure we filmed the Goose musical. I made Adriana ride it with me because she's so much yep. smaller. But she stayed on better than I did. the art of Benjamin, don't you think? I Benjamin's think it's garbage. All over and down. it should be erased with fire. Erased really? with fire. Is great potential Why is he so mean? He's obviously very artistic. He is. Just ignore it. Let's keep playing my game. It's, it's way the more artistic is than Mr. Than Voice could draw. Really? All right. Especially because Mr. Voice, we don't even have proof he has hands yet, so... Uh, I can almost feel the eternal happiness. I can almost feel it too. Good. That's the last game. challenge oh, awaits at I can the pet feel that cemetery. as well. A pet cemetery? Oh. That sounds like the best place to end the game. Well, exactly. Maybe thoughts. they brought I'm little cutie here after the way. crows finished <laughs> with it. 
Oh, poor little cutie. I thought that's a Arsh. Donkey Kong Road up there. <laughs> it's like Jerky Kragard. But I, I thought it's a Donkey Kong Road. Uh, you <laughs> get your eyes checked. Donkey Kong Road. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna finish up here at the Pet Cemetery. So, yes. I was thinking. And then we'll, we'll walking, I think, break for the mind day. If I yeah, ask but we'll, we'll finish we have a couple questions we have to answer sure. the first. Oh, I'm gonna I'm judge you guys based on how you answer too. Great. I'm pretty good at Just answering answer questions. Just as honestly as you can. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, right. okay. All right. First, got a question. Have you ever stolen anything? Oh. All right, guys. Have, have you, you ever stolen anything? Answer ever honestly. Stolen anything? Does gummy bears count? Yeah. Because I, that's an, I that's totally a thing. stole gummy bears from the grocery store once. Oh! I was like oh. six, and I thought the like, little bins with them like outside of their bags meant they were free. Because that's like what free candy and stuff shows up in it is like, you know, they're loose and whatever. And I was like, ah, gummy bears. And like picked them up and shoved them in my pocket. Mm. And then I got home and my mom was like, why do you have gummy bears in your pocket? And oh. I was like, they came from the grocery store. Uh, I'm pretty sure I stole a cookie at some point, at least like once in my life, I'm sure I've taken a cookie um, that we weren't supposed to take because mom was like, these are cooling or these are for whatever. Mm. I'm sure I had one. But Nate, I think, stole something the most recently. <laughs> I seem to recall, yes, a bunch of oh. bottles of water ending up in the yes. trunk. Yes, okay, yeah, I that was an accidental steal, but yeah, I went to Target. <laughs> this is, I think, before COVID? I don't yeah, know. it was. Either way, I went to get uh, some groceries at Target, and I put the water, like, on the bottom part of the shopping cart, and I totally forgot to scan it when I left, because I did self-checkout. And then I got to my car, and I was like, oh, there's water on the bottom of this. <laughs> Oops. It's free. Uh-oh. Uh, anyway. Uh, I should put that in the tattle box. Don't feel too alone. Uh, it sounds like the majority of our chat have stolen something. So. I like that she's been walking slow motion <laughs> through all these. I stole my friend's Swiss army oh, knife Misfortune. Once. I felt so bad, I buried it in the yard and oh, never it's even worse. Oh, Can't you? I'm so I don't know if I sorry give it both both back. No. Second no. question. It's too shameful. Are you happy? right now. Oh, Ooh, now we're digging right, deep. Right, are right you guys now? happy right now? Are you guys happy right I'm, now? I'm right now. A good hour. Like this is I was going to say. Fairly relaxing and nice. I think I'm, I'm on an uptick right now. I enjoy spending time with you guys and yeah. I this game is fun. The characters are cute. So, I would say I am probably if if happiness is a spectrum between like sad and happy, I'd say I'm more on the happy side than the sad side at this moment. In general, this gets like deeper than that. I don't know how to answer it. We're happy right now. <laughs> We're, We're happy, happy right now. Like most of the people in the chat are happy right now as well. Hey. Good. Okay. Yes. I mean, nothing bad is happening right now. <laughs> well then, the last. Last question. question. Do you feel loved? <gasps> Important. Do you feel loved? Do you feel loved? I do feel know. loved. I have to say, I feel very loved. Do you feel very loved? I feel loved. Good. Nate, do you feel loved? I never felt loved. <laughs> oh. oh! All right, everybody in the chat, love Nate for a second, please. Uh, <laughs> please don't. <laughs> uh, well, I love you guys in the chat. I love all of you guys in the chat. And I hope you feel loved even outside of just by random encounters. I hope people love you in real life because people do love you in real life, but sometimes we forget to say so. Yeah. And honestly, I'm doing that right now. I forget to tell people all the time that I love them, but I do. So. To tell me you love All right, most, Nate, I love you. Uh, okay, most love people him. in the chat say yes. Good, good. I'm pretty sure mommy loves me because she hasn't left me. Oh you. well, for you. that bar is pretty low, You're but mine. I'll take it. <laughs> Look, as long as you feel loved. At the pet cemetery. Excellent. This was a very long walk. Well, she had to stop and think really hard several times. She had to ask like 400 of her friends on the <laughs> internet, like, hmm. But I'm glad she got some answers. Oh look, we're on Donkey Kong Road. Donkey Kong Road, there it is. All right, the Donkey Kong Road Pet Cemetery, looking lovely today. More missing children. Yeesh. Yeah. Is that our friend? Yeah, I think it is. He's got Ray a funny Kruger. little fedora hat. <laughs> Did we figure out what Not Freddy Krueger. By figuring out whose emergency code that is? Uh, somebody oh. in the chat earlier said that that's Sweden's, that this game okay. takes place in Sweden. Okay. Yeah, I was thinking that's a good point. the prize of eternal happiness. Ooh. Yes, what is it? I have hidden it in one of the graves. That's kind of gross, man. I have That's to dig in my grave? This is Which grave one? robbing. I'll give or you a hint. Of a grave. It's or where both. the goldfish is buried. Yeah. The goldfish. All right. That's, Must I dig with my tiny really hands? Weird. 
pickaxe forever. No, use the shovel. Yeah. What shovel? That's this probably at least shovel. a little more sanitary. This should also be an indication. You Okay, so I'm going to put it out there for shovel. everybody okay. watching at the moment. If a random red glowing hole breaks open in the ground in front of you and a tool appears out of that hole, or anything appears out of that hole, don't pick it up. Don't use it. And stop talking to the voice that spawned it. That's yeah. not okay. That's don't, don't talk to bad disembodied things. voices, except in, unless it's Nate. Yeah, yeah we talk to fine. Nate all the time. All right, so we're supposed to dig where the goldfish is buried. Do you want to dig are. in this other places too? Death. Then Dennis died surrounded by her loved ones in a fire. That's not <laughs> okay. Do we dig Denise's grave up? Do you Do guys want to dig up Denise's grave? Is Denise a goldfish, you think? Died in a fire surrounded by her loved ones? I don't know if goldfish gener I mean, I guess a goldfish would die in a fire. Presumably the water would get hot enough it would not want to live there anymore. Yeah, I don't actually know what happens. I assume you just end up with a boiled fish. Which is, uh, you eat them after you boil them, so... And then it gets, uh, barbecued! Is this the second cry for help, or...? No, I'm actually thinking a goldfish... If, uh, if a fish dies in a fire, you are basically talking about making a fish sandwich. Like, it's the, like, one of the weirdly most, like, sanitary ways Looks of, like, like most people are saying no, don't dig that grave. Don't dig that grave. Alright, thank not you right for one. not being on board with grave desecration. Nah. How about... What do we got here? This one. Okay, let's see. Uh -huh. Little Lulu, the first bug to ever strangle a man. Little Lulu? <laughs> Strangled a man? I'll be digging up Little Lulu. I mean, she called it a pug, so I'm guessing it's not a goldfish. But I am curious about how it strangled a man, so... <laughs> do you think it was on a leash? Like the one on the tree, like little cutie, but... Do, it... do you feel a little bit like Dora right now? Like, <laughs> should we dig up this grave? <laughs> wow, that's incredible! Let's get to it! <laughs> wow! Remains of something! <laughs> So uh, cool. Looks like this is also a no as well. So I'm thinking no. I'm thinking uh, little Lulu deserves more respect. I don't think this is the fish. I don't think so either. I'm thinking no. What about you? Is there a picture on the fish one? Uh, well, that one looks like a bobber, so. Uh, let's just let's this see. One and see what happens. Oh, you're the magpie. Oh. Never saw that window coming. Huh. That I don't get sounds it. Sounds like. Not a fish as well. I think I was trying to Are we to be digging too up smart. Roger the Magpie? <laughs> what do you guys think of Roger the Magpie? The fish, obviously. Roger the Magpie is the name of the goldfish. Maybe? Maybe? I'm waiting for them to just get fed up with us and say yes. <laughs> be like, no, no! That's how uh, that's how Dora would be like. You'd have all the kids' voice. Or I'm thinking of Blue's Clues. Both Blue's Clues does that. Yeah, like, not the goldfish, but oh, it's not the goldfish. Oh, let me keep walking then. <laughs> I'll find one that says something to goldfish. Uh, this looks like a no as well. Mm, no. Okay. We're not going to dig up Roger the Magpie. I think so. I'll keep looking. Yeah, let's I keep looking. Keep looking? Try this little tiny one. Eh? It says, Mr. Bubbles. Mr. Hmm. Bubbles? I know him. He's from um, hey. Lilo and Stitch. And he comes to check on whether or not you're treating your little sister well. Oh, is that Mr. And Bubbles? He's from uh, Bioshock. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Bubbles! <laughs> Uh, are we digging up Mr. Bubbles? Mr. Bubbles? Does he sound fishy to you? Uh, you know, we have a fish and his name is Rodrigo, so I'm a little concerned that none of these have had a name like Rodrigo. Well, see, clearly none of these people are as clever in naming their pets as Little Misfortune is. Like Stony the Stone? Yeah, like they, so They clever. want you to dig this grave. Mr. Bubbles! Yeah. Alright, let's do it! Where'd the show go? Congratulations, oh. Miss Fortune. You found the prize. We found it. Hit it really? Tiny yes. Box. You see the little box? Open it. Uh, okay, excellent. Uh, I believe your happiness was stolen by that fox. Is this the prize? But there's only okay. a Okay, this is an important what? thing. Yes, it says... So this note is written very well. Your eternal right? It's like properly spelled and everything. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Did Benjamin write that note or no? I don't think I found a 100% firm solution to this. Because we see a lot of the other things I think he's been putting up don't look properly spelled like that. So the question is, did he write that note actually or no? And see, I remembered from playing this game that that note was not spelled correctly, so I totally thought that Benjamin had stolen it, which is why in our musical, if you look, the note is not spelled correctly. I campaigned for that and then saw this and was like, oops. Well, <laughs> 
So I don't know. I, I'm curious what you guys think about this note that says, I stole your eternal happiness with Benjamin's signature. It's not even a signature. I don't know. I'm not sure. And I don't feel like I was able to find a definitive answer when I was researching either. Eternal happiness. I knew the fox was trouble. He stole your prize. That sounds accusatory. But I don't know what his goal is in in faking a note from, from Benjamin. find the fox and get your happiness back. So right? I'm sure he's been, he's been trying to keep her away, away from him let's for so go long. Find him. Huh? Yes, let's like, do why that. would he want uh, her to go the... find Benjamin? I don't know. The chat is pretty sure that uh, Benjamin did not do that. Okay. Interesting. Uh, you might want to sprinkle some sort They think Mr. Weiss was responsible. Well, yeah, I was actually thinking because he also provides you with something to use against Benjamin later. So I am getting a little suspicious that the reason he wants you to go find Benjamin is he has nefarious intentions. Um, speaking of the oh, devil, or there, not. There he is, Benjamin. Huh? Did you steal my eternal happiness? Benjamin. Oh. Not cool. We're disappointed in you, Benjamin. Oh. Speaking Come of things on, that are Benjamin. not cool. Give me back my happiness. Run after him. We can't let the fox can't get away get again. Away again. He stole your prize. Benjamin uh. really disappointed me. Hmm. Okay, well. Da -da. I'm not, I'm not still certain what his game is, that he puts misfortune up against Benjamin like this. But no idea. I think we're we out of time for today, maybe. I think we are. I think we should in probably case wait. We see the fox. Right here. They know how to hide. Uh, All right. I know we've got at least three more major sections coming. Probably. So, so another episode at some point where we'll return to this. Yeah. Gwen will put on her little pink hat again. Yeah. And we'll see if we can uh, either win Mr. Voice's game or maybe. Turn the tables on him, even. Dun, dun, dun. Thank you guys for joining us today. Hope you had fun. Uh, it was fun to answer questions together, I think, too. Mm -hmm. um, speaking of questions, Nate, are there any uh, last Do questions? Do we have any last-minute questions? Type your question in all caps. Yeah. 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 Thank you for letting us go a little bit over today. Uh, we know we usually keep ourselves to an hour, so it's really nice, actually, that you guys stuck around and stayed with us for a few extra minutes while we got a little bit further in the game. So It's true. You guys are awesome. Hey, how do you feel about next Tuesday doing a comments video? Is that okay? I know it's like super Seems impromptu. Reasonable. I could, I could do it. But we said we we're gonna do a comments live stream every month, and we, we haven't, haven't done, one, done yet. one yet. Yeah. And I know some of you guys have been asking when we were gonna actually do one. So we'll talk about it, and we'll post it tonight. I think in the community tab of Random Encounters, uh, the date and the time. It'll, I guess, be next Tuesday for somebody. Probably for us. Might be Wednesday if it ends up being a, a late night for us. Might be an early morning for you guys on Wednesday instead. Um, but yeah, and we won't tell you which project until the community tab, so we have a chance to talk about it. Yeah. Sorry, I feel like I just threw that out there kind of impromptu. Welcome to Random Encounters, where we uh, sometimes talk about things... Uh, sometimes. ...spontaneously. Yeah. You got any, uh... Fred Peterson wants to know, Gwen, do you still breathe through your eyeballs? <laughs> no! I'm like, oh, I don't even remember which video. Probably? No, I don't! Maybe? Um, so it was one of the recording videos. I think it was, it was ICU, but I'm not uh -huh. sure. Uh, where like yeah. I had to get a really deep breath for something. I was like, oh, I'll breathe in through my eyeballs. Yeah, uh, it's true. And no, no, I don't do that. But in fact, uh, I I do. I think breathe differently now than I used to. I say your your voice teacher hasn't been having you learn to breathe through your eyeballs. No, Weird. no, she hasn't. Huh. But she does teach me how to breathe all the way down to my butt. Which is quite fun. Breathing through my butt. Not that through sounds your butt, great. Oh. Down to your butt. Oh. When you feel it in your butt, you That's breathe. That's like how you enough. fart on command. Like you breathe in some air through your butt and then you release it. <laughs> That's uh, weird. So here's a question. I don't sure. know if you're willing to answer it or not. Oh. But Maria Lagman wants to know what is the next musical? Oh. The next musical. Are we uh, we're probably to... two weeks out from having it, right? So maybe we should give them hints, but not tell them yet. Okay. So the hints are, yep. uh, we can film it in the house because we're still not allowed to leave the house. <laughs> Yay! It involves a family. 2020! It does involve a family. That's actually a good one. Yeah. Um, that is good. Um, and we recently just played it on Switch. We did. Um, not that it premiered on the Switch, but you can play it on Switch. Mm -hmm. Is that enough hints for today? Next week we'll give you even more hints. Yeah. And uh, if nobody's guessed it by then, maybe we'll... You know who knows? The Patreon people, I think, know. Yes, the Patreon people might know. Yeah. And 
think but the, they've been they're told. generally pretty tight lipped. They don't like to reveal oh. the secrets that are revealed because mm-hmm. they want to, you know, they like being, you know, I support these guys on Patreon. I get this information and I keep it for myself. Mm. Which, oddly, so. if you want to be a patron and you want those inside scoops before we show them here on Movie Replay or before they show up on our other channel, uh, you can join Patreon for what's our lowest tier? It only it's a dollar costs a dollar. dollar. It only costs for a dollar. dollar. You get videos from us that go out to everybody where you get to hear about what we're working on this week. You get and to see what we're working on. It's true. <laughs> Even more exciting. So you'll know before anybody else for the low, low price of... A dollar. A dollar a month. Yeah, and I know like there's a lot of channels that do like join our channel and things like that on YouTube now. Um, a lot of gaming channels especially. Mm-hmm. And we're not doing channel memberships like that. We don't do that kind of thing. And YouTube's talked to us about starting it. And we said like, no, we have one kind of exclusive video we do. And we just have private unlisted videos that we send, you know, over to Patreon. Mm-hmm. And Patreon works just fine for us. Plus it lets us do other things without having a big old like, join the channel, pay us money kind of thing. That way we have a system set up for people that actually do want to support us beyond maybe getting the music or streaming it or uh, buying t-shirts. We actually have a spot where people can specifically go support musicals. Mm -hmm. So that's what the idea of Beyond Patreon is for us. So if you could join Patreon like right now, later this week, I'm pretty sure you're going to be seeing videos of costuming coming in. You're going to be seeing videos probably of some of the early steps of music. Uh, You're going to be just seeing our cats. They see a lot of They end up in a lot of these too. Yeah, that's true. (laughs) Um, but yeah. Oh, I did mention t-shirts. I'm wearing one today, so <gasps> in case anybody wants to see one of these shirts or more in other colors, maybe even, uh, I think that link is down in the description below as well. I these ones are kind of exclusive right now. Keep brushing his back and being like, this is such a soft t-shirt. I like it. <laughs> it's really Sometimes nice. girls will touch you like this if you wear one of our shirts. If you marry them and wear one of the shirts. Ah, uh, yes. yes. Well, they are really soft, so. Um, Yeah, thank you guys so much for joining us today. Thank you for your questions and for helping participate and making decisions. Hopefully, we're going to keep Miss Fortune alive when we come back to this game, whatever week that's going to be. Please keep her alive. She's doing a really good job. (laughs) Yeah, I like her too. And I think you guys, some of you have played this game before. You know what you're doing, um, which we appreciate. So, yeah, that's it. We'll see you guys next Friday with another uh, replayed stream and another Random Encounters video over on the RE channel. Beard salute! Woo! Woo! Can you do a beard salute with Miss Fortune's voice? How, how do you? you it like, is a voice. 